So today I thought I'd <coughs> film this on my Osmo Mobile. I'm actually walking around with it now. So let me know what you think of the footage. So I'm actually filming this on my DJI uh, Go Mobile. Sorry, I'm filming it on the Osmo Mobile on the DJI Go app. So it's just had an update. So I'm just seeing if it, um, just seeing how it works and seeing if it's tracking my face. Okay, so I'm using the, <clears throat> I'm using the front camera on the DJI. I'm using the front camera on the DJI and now I'm tracking my face. So it seems to be, I mean, it seems to be working quite well. So it's tracking, which is good. Anyway, so I thought, good morning, uh, good afternoon, everyone. I thought today I would go through, um, I'm gonna look at my iPhone 7 Plus. I don't know if you watched my previous video. Uh, the previous video was, let me just fix that up again. There we go. My previous video was, um, I had a previous video where I said that I returned my iPhone 7. Now, I returned my iPhone 7 because, um, one, I like the, better, the bigger screen. Two, um, the battery life is better on the... See, it just lost me. If you've noticed that, sorry, I'm just, I'm actually leaving it on tracking. Let me just fix this up for a second. Okay, so I'm going to change it to face tracking. And now we're face tracking. Um, but we're on my 6S Plus, so it's sort of 720p. I'm going to change arms because it actually gets quite heavy carrying this Osmo Mobile. It's weird. It, it doesn't feel that heavy, but by the time you're holding it up like this, it, it gets quite weighty. Anyway, so I thought I'd just have a look at my iPhone. I'd return my iPhone 7 um, for the main reason that, one, the battery life is less on the iPhone 7. Two, the iPhone 7 Plus has a full uh, 1920 1080 screen or, yeah, full resolution screen. The screen on the 7 was not so clear. It was a little bit, to me, it, it just didn't look as good as the 6S Plus. So if I'm going to upgrade, I mean, I upgraded my old 5S. So the reason being is to get a bigger phone. I have two phones, one for the UK and one for Australia or wherever I am in the world. So, um, but I'm really happy with the seven plus. It's, it's, uh, it's much, much better. Let's have a look at it now. Okay. So this is the iPhone seven plus. Um, I mean, as you probably already know, when you lift it up in iOS 10, it, the screen wakes. This is being recorded still on my success plus on the Osmo mobile. you can see the movement and my 7 plus I really like I think Apple I mean I think a few things that Apple has done well this time is one the, the leather case I know a lot of people don't like the leather case but the leather case if you can see it has metal buttons on the side now So you can see it's actually got these metal buttons. So it's actually a much better quality. It's a much better quality than before. So you can see I still don't know what I'm doing here. Um, the things I like about the 7 Plus, the new home button I think is a, is a very, very good improvement. Um, it feels good. You can adjust it in three steps uh, for the haptic feedback. I think it works really, really well. The other thing obviously, is the camera. I don't know if you can see that, the light's not so great. There it is there. So the camera is the dual lens camera. So you have a standard lens, wide angle, wide angle lens, and you have the telephoto. I think the three important things with the iPhone 7 Plus, which is an improvement on the 6S Plus. Uh, the first being the home button. The home button has, um, is now taptic feedback. It's not a mechanical button. Uh, you can set it to three levels of, um, I'll call it Taptic, I know that's not what it's called, but I'll call it Taptic. So I've got it set in the middle setting. The next thing which is very good about the 7 Plus is, just in general, is, is the screen. I mean, the screen is better than the 7. The reason why I returned my 7 is because uh, I thought the screen wasn't up to the same quality as the 6S Plus. I know they say the color accuracy has been improved, for me, it was it was just a matter of the screen was better on the 7 Plus and the 6S Plus. So, 
The other thing which is really good is the camera. So if you see this now, let's take a, f let's, I'm gonna do this. Two times in, one times, two times. So not digital, optical, because it's changing between the two cameras on the back. So it, it's good when you're taking, it actually works quite well. I've used it in the video the other day and I've used it in still shots as well. So the other thing which is in addition is the portrait. So the portrait you have to move, I mean that, my screen is so dirty, but it says depth effect and then you have to move further away, but I don't think I can do it here. You probably noticed already, um, there are a lot of my satchels with microphones and, and hard drives in, but there's no iMac. The iMac has disappeared. That's because I had to lend the iMac to uh, Natasha's sister, who's got some work to do while she's here. So she needs the bigger screen to plug into a laptop, which means, which means for me, when I do my editing now, I only have my MacBook Pro and I don't have my external screen. Okay, so I just worked out how to flip the camera around. It's, there's a trigger on the Osmo Mobile and it's actually three clicks of the trigger which will spin the camera around. It doesn't look like it flips the camera when you're mid-recording. Doesn't seem to. I have to seem to stop recording to be able to flip the camera. Um, but yeah, so... Anyway, so I think I think the iPhone 7 Plus is actually wow. This is sorry. Can you see that? It's tracking me quite well. Let me just show you. Let me film it on my other phone. But can you see that? It's tracking my face. Sorry, that's better. Can you see that now? Like I've got to look down. Sorry, I'm looking at on my phone, but you can see the green square around me. That's the active face tracking on the Osmo Mobile. So it works quite well. Oh, this is a zoom on the 7 Plus. One time, two times, one time, two times, one time, two times. Get rid of the reflection. There you go. One times. Okay, let me just flip the camera around. Okay, so for the Osmo Mobile, I also bought the um, the stand as well, which you probably saw sitting on the desk. I cannot do without the stand. Um, in my phone, I got the matte black. I don't really want to take it out of the case, but that's the bottom of it, which you can see. So the other good thing about the iPhone 7 Plus is that it has dual speakers at the base. I mean, the sound is the sound is okay. I mean, it still sounds like an iPhone. It, 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 you're not gonna get great sound out of these things. Um, obviously, you can see at the bottom there too, is that there is no headphone jack. There is a lightning jack and that's it. So they give you the adapter for your headphones. Um, but anyway, let's just, best features. Love the new home button. The camera is really, really good. It, it now has the front-facing camera, which the 7 does as well, the front-facing camera at 1080p. Front-facing camera at 1080p. Uh, the dual lens camera at the back is really, really good. It switches over very quickly. The portrait mode, I think the portrait mode, because it's still in beta, it'll be okay. But I think that, um, I think that, uh, I think that it will work, but at the moment, I think it's still maybe a little bit glitchy. Um, what else is good? I mean, anyone that's tried it has realized that iOS 10 is, a, is much better than the previous version. Um, the new iPhone 7s are faster. I don't think they're, you know, a lot faster than the 6S Plus, but they're definitely faster on certain applications and opening up things. I mean, compared to my 5S, obviously, it was a huge, huge improvement. How'd you go? 